Hello, and welcome to Tax App Professionals video on how to edit your master billing information and edit billing invoices within Tax App Professional. My name is Jake Etheridge. I am the senior UX designer of the software, and I'm excited to show you just how easy it is to apply master information regarding invoicing in Tax App Professional and also make adjustments per client as you need. So to get started, I'm actually going to be hanging out here in the client manager. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to this section that says preparer. I'm going to click preparer. And when I go down here, I'm going to see this master information section. From here, I see a list of options, but I'm going to specifically look for this that says master form data. Now, depending on the return types you have, you'll see those listed here. Right now, I only have the 1040 return type in. So I'm going to click that. And what it's actually going to do is it's going to pop up with this and it's going to let me know this is the federal master charge by form. So as you can see here, it's going to be listing out the various forms found in the 1040. And what I can do is simply go in and per one of those returns, make adjustments and say that is how much I would like to charge. I also can go here and where it says select type. Right now I have federal, but I can actually click this and then click the state that I so desire. I can also go over here in the billing invoice section and I can make any adjustments I would like to make as master billing invoice uh, information here. So you can make adjustments about what stage by, state charge by forms you want to use, what federal charge by forms you'd like to use, um, any additional um, fees you would like to include, such as e-filing fees, or even include personal selections here that you can make edits to, um, and then offer any discounts, et cetera, you would like to. Once you have this done and selected, uh, you can actually hit OK. And once you hit OK, that information is going to be saved in your master information. Uh, and that's going to be applied to all of your currently opened returns. Now, let's say, for instance, you didn't want to apply that to your currently opened returns for whatever reason. I can actually go in here. I'm going to open up Santa Claus's return here. And now that I actually have a return open, I want to get specific in this client's uh, return and with their invoicing specifically. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go up here. I'm going to hit Preparer. And I'm going to go down to Billing Invoice. And I'm going to hit Edit Client Copy. And once I do that, it will actually open up the billing invoice for this client. I had opened it previously, and you can see you can go in here and make adjustments as you see fit for that specific client. And you can also go back if you would like to as well and make changes. Um, now that I'm back in the client manager, uh, let's say that I wanted to make sure that my bank products are included here and that I know what information is going to be associated with that. What I can do is go up here to Preparer and actually go to Master Information and go to Preparers. And as you can see here, I have a list of my preparers. There is me, so I'm actually going to hit this Edit button. And when I hit this Edit button, it tells me some information about this specific preparer. Specifically, what I want to do is make some adjustments regarding the bank products. So I'll actually go to the electronic filing info. And you'll see here it would have information regarding my EFIN, my PIN type, my practitioner PIN, et cetera. And I can actually select my bank partner here and enter in the identification number. Once I do that and it knows that I have this bank information associated with returns that I prepare, it will automatically include that bank application agreement in the e-file steps when I go to e-file these returns for clients. There you go. That's how easy it is in order to make adjustments to your master billing information or personalized billing invoice information in Tax App Professional. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please direct them to Tax App Professional Support.